Good day everyone. Today I get to work on Songs for Humanity again. It's Sunday and I have some free time. Uh, for those couple of you who actually stumble upon this video at this stage of the project, Songs for Humanity is a project of mine where I compose free to use original pieces of music and I couple them with animation to make music videos and I also add some commentary on the topics of the music and the animation. So that's the project in a nutshell. Uh, the finished videos have their own channel and this is the behind the scenes type of channel. So we've been working on the music for a while for the third video. It's taking its shape. And how I've done the previous two videos is I've done the music completely, have a finished track and then I start working on the animation. So they, are, they have been two completely separate processes. But for a few reasons that I won't go into right now, I want to kind of merge the processes so that the, when the music is taking its shape, the animation is also taking its shape and I work on them like concurrently. Is that the right word? I don't know. So what I thought I'd do today is start working on the animation, even though the music is not completely finished yet. Okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna draw right now is a very rough sketch of what would be the opening scene of the animation. So we have this dark alley in the city at night, possibly rainy, and the back of the alley opens to a street there. You can see lights and maybe cars passing by or something. And the camera is moving forward towards the street. And on the bottom of the alley, like on the pavement, you can see this 3D piano roll sequence of notes, which obviously represents the music. And as the camera moves forward across them, the notes light up as they play. Like I'm sure you've seen some piano roll animations and you know what I'm talking about. So that would be the opening scene. I haven't done any of that piano roll note block thing in the previous two animations. In those, there was just this glass ball as sort of the main character. And I'm still not sure if I like the idea of visualizing the music uh, more directly as the note blocks. But I kind of want to try and see how it looks in the final animation. And I found a program that can convert MIDI files into text files where the note events are like text lines. And I've been working on this script in Blender that can convert uh, those note events into this 3D note sequence, like a piano roll looking sequence. Uh, this script is quite crude at the moment. I think I want to work on making it more elegant. Uh, like I'm not a coder by any means, but even I know that this can be done much more elegantly. And this doesn't have any of the notes lighting up as they play or anything like that yet. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. But that's boring stuff. I'll do it off camera sometime. And what I think I'll do now is just start modeling the first scene because I think that'll look more interesting. Okay, here I'm starting the modeling. In the beginning, it's just a matter of adding a bunch of primitive shapes and placing them in the scene somewhere and trying to build the basic proportions of the scene very crudely. And then I'll add more details later on. plan for the entire storyboard of the animation uh, but coming up with it was a bit of a struggle I'd love the process to be more romantic like me being in a total creative flow state and just having this ecstatic flow of ideas that I can pick from and smash a couple of them together and see what comes out of it and 
<laughs> no, it was literally just me laying down on the couch and desperately trying to think of some different ways of building on the music visually. I think I even fell asleep once because I was also tired. Anyways, it wasn't it wasn't very romantic at all. But I did manage to parse together a complete idea. I'm sure I'll change it many times as I always do. But as you can see, we are starting to get a rough idea of how the first scene is gonna look. Okay, I think that's enough of the animation for today. I really need some fresh air. Look at this new hat I got. I bought it a couple days ago from the city center. I lost my previous hat uh, last summer when we were filming a music video in Italy. And I've been looking for a new, this type of hat ever since. I might be a bit picky about the shape or something, but I finally found one that I really like and it's 100% linen. It's really good quality and it was quite cheap, like 20 euros or something. It was on sale. And I had a weird thing happen when I was leaving the center that day. A couple came to me. They didn't speak good English, but from what I gathered, they were from Greece. They came to Finland for some reason. They didn't have a place to stay. They didn't have money. They didn't have food. And the girl was pregnant. And I was like, okay, they're gonna ask me for money or something. They're probably scammers maybe or something. And I said, I can't give you money. But then the guy said, you could just buy us some food. And I was like, okay, I could do that. And then I took them to a nearby grocery store and let them pick a couple items and uh, paid for it and then gave it to them and basically wished them all the best and left. I don't know, it was weird because we are so preconceived to think that these sorts of things are scams. And I kept thinking about it when I got home, like all the things I could have done or should have done or whatever. Like if they were scammers, they could have hoped that I bring them home and then see if I have any valuable things to steal or something. But then again, I think that's very unlikely and I think they really just needed food and money to survive. And if that's the case, then maybe I should have tried to get more info about how they came to Finland and why, and if they have passports or something, and maybe offer to make a call to some Finnish authorities for them. That could maybe help. I kept thinking about these things, uh, but it just kind of made me sad that, first of all, there are so much scammers in the cities that we automatically end up thinking these sorts of things are scams. And it also made me very grateful for what I have, that I, I'm not in that sort of situation. But maybe I learned something and maybe I can do better next time. And I hope they got the help they needed and have had better times now. And I hope you also have a fantastic day. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.